Welcome to the Ordinary Guy Garage. I'm Scott, the Ordinary Guy, and I figured I would try something here. Everybody's doing these quarantine car shows. I figured I'd go ahead and jump on the bandwagon and, and do a little show of the three cars I got going right now. So anyways, uh, I'll go ahead and take the camera down and I'll walk around each one and we'll kind of go over it. All right, first one here is my 66 Chevy now a short wheelbase used to be a long wheelbase pickup just got it together about a year or so ago and uh this is one i've had in another video i i've owned it forever been in my family ever since i could remember i believe we can see what's going on here there's the engine small block chevy 350 four bolt main 284 nope no nope it's a 274 cam air gap intake, 650 double pumper. It's kind of hard to tell because all this, but I, I've done, I'm kind of particular about wires and stuff and I got everything pretty much detailed and, and ran like it should. Uh, it's got power brakes on it. I have a 78 Chevy C10 front clip on it. So it has power brakes, power steering and, and all that stuff. I don't know if you can get in there and see any of the details of the engine, but it runs good. It's got a really nice sound to it. Sounds very hot roddy. Uh, nice little, nice little deal. Over here to the interior. It's original. I tried to keep it as as much as it was like when I was a kid when my dad used to drive it. Um, other than of course the the blanket seat cover, you know that's obviously not original. Um, the tachometer isn't. The gauges. He had a set like that in there. Uh, and so I just updated them with some Stuart Warner ones and uh, it's a Muncie four-speed M20 Really cool. Lots of fun to drive So that's that I relocated the fuel tank to the back. I Still got to weld up that hole right there That's another project, but There we have it. There's that one All right, next car is my 68 SS396 El Camino that I just got running. I've done a bunch of videos on it already on my channel here, so you've probably seen it a lot, but not too much outside and like this. So anyways, there it is. It's pretty clean, no rust, no rust on this car whatsoever. It was owned by a original owner, was an older guy who bought it not because it was a super sport but bought it because it had a 396 engine and he wanted to tow a trailer around the country with it so he did that took really good care of it it was originally a white vinyl top ermine white is the color of the body originally had what was called a saddle interior we'll go ahead and continue to walk around here oh pretty nice pretty nice really happy to Feel fortunate to have been to have gotten this car uh, across the back here I don't know if you can see it out here or not but there's little squares remnants of stickers yeah there you go you can see those little remnants of stickers across the back from the different states that he had visited and he had those all across the back I can't remember I counted 28 or something like that so it's been around the country 85,000 original miles on it and uh, Pretty clean. Let me open up the interior. Okay, it's been redone in black, but uh, it's perfect. Interior is perfect. We got the that's the original wood grain wheel, which was an option at the time. Uh, it has factory standard gauges, idiot lights, which works great because I'm kind of an idiot and I understand them. But uh, no, just kidding. I'm probably going to put gauges, some aftermarket gauges in there, but. Um, a lot of people think, well, if it doesn't have the gauges, it's not a super sport, but that's not true. Um, 68 was its own model and gauges were an option. So that's that. We pop open the hood. We've seen this a bunch of times, but. All right, hood's up. 325 horse, 396. Again, I tried to put everything back as it goes and where it should go. Still got a few things to do. Um, I'm working out. This is this is loose, but I'm not driving it. The car's not registered right now. I just moved it over here to the this portion of the property to take a video. 
but uh, that's I still got a lot of little things to do on it but looking pretty good like I said 325 horse 396 I changed the carburetor on it because the quadrajet was giving me trouble so I put a 650 double pumper on it just because it's what I had and that'll get changed but for right now it runs but anyways uh, still got to put the front end back together and work on paint and whatnot but that's that car Alrighty, up next, my 1989 Chevy S10. It's actually a GMC S15 or whatever, but I call it an S10 because it doesn't really matter to me. Um, anyways, it's it's drag race. It's it's street legal, but I haven't registered it in years, and I don't drive it on the street. Um, I just drag race it, and that's all. It's a budget build. Uh, I have another video on that kind of goes through the progress of of this truck I paid 1800 bucks for it uh, not in this condition at all and drove up five hours to go get it drove it home and then that next weekend I started racing had a small block in it and uh, it wasn't fast at all only ran 14s but it was fun and I raced it for a full season like that and then I tore it down and started doing the work uh, the rear end is out of a 96 Ford Explorer. It's a 8.8. .8. I shortened down the long side. Any, anybody who knows about these axles, they they're have an offset differential. I offset, I mean, I, I cut the long side, so I use a two, two short side axles, so it's been narrowed three inches. I painted it with uh, Rust-Oleum paint out here in my driveway. It kind of looks crappy, but it doesn't look nearly as bad as it used to, and uh, you know, it probably cost me 200 bucks to do the paint job. People say it's a $50 paint job, but by the time I got done, it was probably a couple hundred bucks. Um, weld wheels, got those off of Craig's, off Craigslist. Most everything is either used, built by myself, or I got a, I got a few new things on here too, I guess. Um, around to the other side. The, uh, I have a version of Caltrax on them. I call them Scott tracks because I found a pattern on the internet and I just built them myself. Um, and it, it hooks, it hooks really good. Um, and uh, the wheel tires are uh, 28 inch, 10.5 Hoosier Slick. It's got a 410 gear in it. Fuel tank in the back, battery in the back. Got an eight point or six point roll bar in it. Stripped the interior. I tried to. I kept the dash stock, but I pulled the dash out and it's completely gutted behind. Um, made the ga the dash. With, I made the gauge panel right there. Got some cheap gauges in it. That's part of my budget thing. At some point, I'll change it. Got the old star shifter in there. I got that for forty bucks at a swap meet. The seat came out of my buddy's Baja bug. Cost me twenty bucks. So, I mean, a lot of it, I, I've saved money wherever I could. Drag racing is expensive. So, anyways, let me go ahead and pop the hood. All right, so under the hood, we have a 388 cubic inch small block Chevy. So that's a 60 over with a 3.75 stroke in it. Basically, it's a 383 that's 60 over instead of 30 over. Um, it's got blueprint heads on it. 195s <clears throat> got a cheap aftermarket manifold that I got from the machine shop um, it's got a ten and a half to one compression it's got a uh, fender well headers I tried several different sets this is the set that fit so fender well headers headman hustlers I got the MSD distributor in there and the box the box is underneath the dash inside the truck the 6AL box 750 double pumper built out of about three or four different carburetors runs pretty good um, 284h comp cams in it that's a flat tappet hydraulic aluminum radiator had to modify the core support to get it in there but it it's all in there um, transmission turbo 350 with the custom built 4000 rpm stall um, Best run I've made with it so far is an 1153. Uh, I can't remember. I think at about 115 miles per hour. 
So it, it, uh, it and that's really untuned. I, I just barely got it together and I only ran it a couple of times last year. I'm not really happy with the cam. I'll probably swap that to a solid lifter cam. But anyways, that's that's it for this for this uh, truck. It's been a lot of fun. This truck is a lot of fun. So, anyways, those are my cars. All right, so that's it. That's my cars. That's where I'm at so far. Got a few other projects in the works, but these are the three right here. Uh, my my main deals right here and my money pits. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, everybody. Uh, has been putting up these videos and so it's kind of fun watching these virtual car shows I guess quarantine car shows whatever you want to call them nice to get a little bit more of an in-depth look at some of the people's cars and and what they've done if you have any questions about anything on my cars or anything whatever I'm by no means an expert but I'll I'll answer whatever questions you may have just leave a comment uh, make sure you subscribe make sure you like tell your friends share whatever you want to do and uh, until next time stay safe